Brown. Miley Cyrus threw a massive Sweet 16 party over the weekend at Disneyland. 5,000 of her closest friends showed up to celebrate <laughs> with the star of Hannah Montana. And our special correspondent, and he is special, Cameron Matheson, was at the huge bash. You got on a flight and got right back home. I did. It was a huge celebration. Now, Miley won't turn Sweet 16 until November 23rd, a date that I know you're familiar with, too. Oh, my uh, birthday as well. I think my so. birthday. But that's a lot okay, of birthdays please. on it's that about, day. About, but the celebrations have completely, completely started, <laughs> mostly for Miley's. I'm, I know you're waiting for yes. your birthday, and I had my own special. Special invitation, a heart to heart with Miley yesterday. Then I jumped on a plane, took the red eye, got here, landed, and tell you guys all about it. So you have the very first look. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. For the world's biggest teenage star, the world's biggest Sweet 16 party. Over 5,000 of Miley Cyrus's fans helped celebrate with a giant birthday cake, thrilling fireworks. And happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> and a parade of stars all rolled into one of the world's biggest playgrounds, Disneyland. You were on Dancing with oh, the Stars? I sure was, yeah. Okay. Daddy, who do you think was better? Who do I think was a better dancer? Me or him? You're a great dancer. She's recognized around the world, but last night Miley Cyrus recognized volunteers from Youth Service America. This group received a $1 million check from Walt Disney Parks and Resorts. Come on, everyone. It's my sweet 16. You guys can be louder than that. Come on. A birthday treat for her fans as Miley performed. Now, I've got a quote that I love, something along the lines of, I like to think of myself as the girl that no one can keep their hands on. Now, is that like your personal life or is that more your career? All of the above. I don't like being, like, contained in any way. I want to do things that, um, that some people only dream of doing and never really get out there and do it. Yeah, I mean that in my career and I mean that in relationships and friendships. I don't want to be anyone that gets too stuck in, you know, feeling like, you know, I'm someone's little puppet. I never want to be that way. But did you talk to your parents? about you know who you're dating and all and, and i do my like parents that. are cool my parents love you know the people that i hang out with and respect my friends so i think that's you know really fun and i try to keep you know my like dating life as private as the media will let me it's incredible to me that you know it said that um the miley cyrus brand will be worth approximately a billion dollars before you're 18 years old and your parents give you an allowance yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta keep you grounded. Gotta keep you normal. And your mom talked about shutting down your uh, your credit card because you went a little bit overboard. My mom said that. Yes, she did. She'd had a credit card and she went a little over her limit the other day. And I was like, no more credit card for six months. What, you, what does somebody get? A girl who's got everything. A car. Really? Daddy. I want to know what the odds are that that's gonna happen. It's real good. I should get a car. It's not happening. It's not happening. My mom's not gonna do it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm a little scared. I mean, it's her life is pretty crazy right now on paparazzi and mm -hmm. pretty scary having her out driving. So I don't know. I got a dog. When? Um, this afternoon. I named her Sophie. Congratulations. Thank you. So I didn't get a car, but I did get a dog. 